Hey guys, my name is Anna. And my name is McKinley. And this week we will be taking over the National Theatre School Instagram. We're going to be bringing you guys to the South Regional level of the Ontario Drama Festival. <laughs> See you tonight. Hi, I'm Evie and I go to Cuba Secondary School. Our play is called Bait Sunshine, not Zebras. And it's about what happens when a very mean, mean group of brass per se meet a new person and it doesn't go well and xenophobia is a thing. Yeah. Because we're from Grimsley Secondary School. Um, yeah, so we just performed um, Sunny Boy, yes. which was a um, fairy tale, um, surreal kind of um, a very physical theater. There's no like props or anything, which is fun. Yeah. Um, basically, it's about this kid that sees the future and then he meets this girl and she is like just right and then they meet each other and it all ends up good. This is our lovely director, Sam. Hi. Yeah. Um, yeah. Focus on movement and on all the stress being on the actors, which is why we didn't do any sets or a lot of light. It was very simple and very fun. A lot of the um, the process was very hard because we have a fairly junior cast. There's actually only two grade 11s, and the rest are grade nines and 10s. So um, being able to teach this like fairy tale type style and this movement style was pretty difficult at the beginning, but I think we really it's been a great experience yeah. for sure. Yeah, and like fairy tale something we do in grade 10 at our school, so all the grade 9s weren't sure at first, so now they are pros for when they get there. Miss yeah. <laughs> Seamus Topol, I'm director of the Telltale Hearts Walkerville Collegiate Production from Windsor. Um, Telltale Heart is an adaptation of a great Edgar Allan Poe story. Um, it's horror, and yeah, I thought it went pretty well. That's the end of night one. Thanks to Walkerville, Grimsby, and Cayuga for some great shows. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Anna. Um, right now, BCI so is on their bus. We got a party oh. bus. <laughs> and we're on our way to our tech time in Hamilton. See you there. Here we have RJ and Lee. Um, RJ's over here and this is Lee. This is their first year participating in the National Theatre School Drama Festival. How has your experience been so far? It's been amazing. I've gotten to meet like, so many like, fun people. It's just been an awesome experience. Here we have Mackenzie Skinner. She is the assistant stage manager of our show this year. So how long have you been participating in the drama festival? Uh, I've been involved since grade 10 and I'm now in grade 12. Yes, and so how do you feel that this festival has influenced you? Um, well, I've met a lot of great people. It's really built up my confidence. You learn a lot of really great skills that you can use in the real world and then homework. But like, I don't know, it's just an amazing time. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everybody, here we are for day two. Anna's getting ready to go on stage. I'm gonna go join the audience. See you on stage. Hi. Hey guys, so BCI just got back from a very successful show. All the schools that went tonight were excellent, even though we didn't get to see the second, unfortunately. But that's a wrap for day two of the festival. See y'all tomorrow. All right, so we are, here we have the co-director of The Soldier Dreams. So how do you feel now that your show has gone on? I mean really great. I mean, I don't think there's another feeling you can have. I mean, we actually, this is the fourth time we've performed it, and like, every time it's just like, I can't believe we just did that, you know? Like, just coming out from it, it's like a whole other world. Yeah, as a director, how do you feel your actors uh, did? Do you think they are, like, doing... So the thing is, I'm also a character in it, I, I, I also act in it, so usually when you're a director you get to sit and watch your creation, but with this I got to be it, you know, so it was really awesome because instead of just like watching like my babies, I was with them, so I was You were a baby as well. Them. Exactly, <laughs> and it was so great because it's not just like, it's not just like, cool, I can do nothing now, I'm just gonna throw up, it's just like, cool, I'm everything. I feel like I have to carry the show, but I can't. Perfect. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the final night of the National Theatre School Festival. We've just watched the first two shows and now we're waiting to watch the third. Uh, right afterwards will be awards, so stay tuned. Bye. On regionals, congratulations to Grimsby and Welland Centennial for moving on. It was a great week, guys. Thank you for having me.